Hey everybody, so let's talk. We're going to do a collective read to see what messages we get. I've been going for like three, four weeks, guys. I'm back. I'm back, back, back. All right, so let's see. Give me a collective read. Give me a reading for the collective. What does the collective need to know? What does the collective need to know? What does the collective need to know? I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting that there is some messages, okay? Someone is texting. Um, there's some back and forth things being said, okay? So we got the texter. Think carefully before responding, casual interaction, interaction, detachment, and communication. So there's some communication going on about what someone is posting, possibly on Instagram or Facebook, whatever social media site. Somebody is on there doing the entire most. Somebody, we got well played. So somebody is compete. I'm getting that there's some competition here. Completing a task skillfully, way to go, nice work, clever, great move. And then we got flexing. Okay. All, all about themselves, selfish, pride, flashy, arrogance, insincere, and boasting. Somebody is doing the most on the gram or Facebook or TikTok, whatever. Okay. Okay, so there's a lot of flexing going on, and somebody's talking about it. Somebody's texting their friend like, oh, you seen such and such on the net? You seen that they posted this? You seen that they... It's a lot of chitter-chatter going on, okay? Somebody over here is being, being blessed, is getting blessed, Okay? Something good has happened. Expressing gratitude for blessings, feeling lucky, luck on your side. So somebody is over here posting their achievements, posting their goals, posting what, what is, you know, going good for them. And then you got to stand. Somebody's watching. So somebody's posting their blessings and you got a stalker. Somebody's watching. Somebody's bragging here about a bay. Hockey, like really obvious, like letting everybody know that they got a bay that's at their home. Okay. So somebody's watching somebody. Tell me more about this stand. Oh, it's a whole bunch of it's a whole bunch of them. It ain't just one. You got a whole squad over here that's watching you be blessed. You over here. Luck is on your side. Things are going in your favor. Okay. What I'm also seeing too is this person is texting their friends, texting their... They, it's like a group chat or... It's just a lot of big, a big conversation. Okay, how somebody is slaying. Okay, there's some competition here. Like I said, I'm getting some, there's some competition here. This person is over here saying, oh, I can't even, I can't deal with this situation. This is just too much. Wow, because we got can't even. So it's some hating going on. And it's because somebody is posting pictures. Maybe the pictures are too sexy. They feel like it's too sexy. And they feel like you you are just being too savage with it. They feel like 
uh, you're supposed to be flatlined, okay? They feel like you're supposed to be flatlined by now. <laughs> but this, but you over here slaying, still. And they're watching it. Now we got canceled, okay? Slut shaming, yep. Somebody's calling somebody a thigh. Somebody's calling somebody a, a hoe. Whatever it is. They're over here slut shaming. Somebody's over here judging somebody. Double standard. And somebody is, they're canceling. Like they're trying to cancel. Trying to cancel you out. Maybe to other people. Trying to make you look bad to other people. But somebody's definitely bragging about a bay. Tell me more. Can't even. I'm trying to tell you. This person is looking at your pictures and comparing your pictures with their friends. I'm getting a compare and contrast. All right, so we got viral. So this definitely has something to do with the net, the internet. Okay, somebody's social media page. Ooh, okay. Yep, look at this. Okay, so somebody got benched. Okay, somebody got put on hold. Um, somebody's a situation had potential or somebody's just in the cut waiting. Okay, but somebody here is trying to go viral. Somebody here is trying to get some attention. So they're posting pictures. They're posting pictures. And somebody got ghosted. I'm feeling like somebody got ghosted. That's why I feel like they feel like you should have been flatlined. Because why are you over here posting all these pictures like you're so happy when possibly you got ghosted or benched, okay? Maybe you got benched. Maybe somebody put you on hold, okay? But they're trying to figure out why are you still so happy? Why is glow up here? Mood. Mm -hmm. Oh no, this is uh, fear of missing out. Fear of missing the opportunity, feeling pressure or choices. This is like the five of pentacles. So this person could be feeling like you're not even all that cute. You ain't even all that cute. Hey, why is the goals here? Why is goals here? It looks like you could be slaying your goals. You're focused on your goals. Like you got a mission. You're on your purpose. And you got these people over here watching you. Trying to figure out how you do what you do. Okay. Flatlining, didn't I tell you? This person is trying to end, uh, trying to get you to, to um, stop what you're doing. Trying to set you back. This person is somebody that you, somebody is trying to set you back. Somebody feels like you are like way ahead of them. They're trying everything. They're trying to slut shame you, judge you. And it looks like it's not working. Like I said, there's a lot of gossiping going on. Possibly about how someone, you got guys or females up under your, that's commenting on you, on your post. And there's a lot of thirst trapping going on. Tell me more about flatlining. The struggle is real, didn't I tell you? See, somebody wants you to struggle with your goals. Somebody's trying to set you back. Could be an older person here. We got an okay boomer. This is someone who could be a, a lot older, or this is someone that just have outdated opinions. They close-minded. They're an older person, and they're out of touch. But yeah, there's some sneaky, some sneaky going on. Low key, well played. I'm telling you, there's somebody here who's trying to play chess and trying to get you to get to get you off focus from your goals. Somebody's in their feelings over here, for sure, for sure. Somebody's in their feelings because somebody got walked out on. Somebody made a stupid move, and now they're in their feelings. Because somebody left the situation or person, it's time to leave it all behind, leaving fast, wrapping it up. 
Tell me more. Why is bounce here? Throwing shade. Okay. So this person is over here throwing shade because they feel like maybe they got a person, maybe they got your ex. Okay. Maybe they're with your ex. And this person is trying to put you in your feelings. Maybe you're an influencer or you're on social media and you take a lot of pictures and you get a lot of likes and stuff on your pictures. You get a lot of comments. Some of you are spiritual. You have spiritual gifts and maybe you are growing and shining on social media. Yep, I'm getting somebody is woke. Okay, this could be your energy. Somebody is very spiritual and woke. Okay, very spiritual and woke. Okay. Yeah, somebody's either got put on blast or is getting ready to get put on blast. Somebody got ghosted and somebody been, has been getting breadcrumbed because somebody's been dealing with somebody on the internet. We got tendering. Yep, the texter and sipping tea. See, someone is communicating with someone, telling the tea, getting the tea about, you see what this what she posted or he posted today? Somebody is also getting love bombed, okay? Shower with attention to influence someone's behavior, manipulation, hidden intentions. Somebody got some hidden intentions, though. And de definitely somebody got walked out on. We got by Felicia and Swerve, okay? And definitely you got a lot of trolls. And what is they, what are they doing on somebody's Instagram account, okay? They're on your Instagram account because they want to see how you think. I'm getting a copycat energy. They're wanting to see what you post. They want to see how you think, how you move, so they can imitate and copy. Okay, now we got a simp here. Somebody's going out like a simp. Somebody's going out like a simp. Why is simp here? Trolls. There's some internet going on. Some This is on the internet. Yep. Somebody, it's about some Snapchat. This could be on Snapchat. We got filter. And this person could be secretly following you on a, on a separate account. They feel like you're you're doing a lot of capping. You capping too much. <laughs> Tell me more about these trolls. Love bombing. Somebody is getting love bombed. Okay. Somebody is getting love bombed. And somebody is this is T. Like this is the T to somebody. Somebody's looking at you as like you're savage. You're ruthless. You get what you want. You don't hold back. You got tough skin and you're confident and badass. But this person is over here sipping tea. Careful who you listen to. Listen to constructive criticism. Listening to gossip. There's some gossiping going on about you. You got a lot of people, a lot of men or a lot of women who want you. And this person is trying to find out. They're probably like, why are you? She basic. He basic. But you get a lot of attention. <laughs> Mine starts to hear. This person is trying to copy you. Extra. Over the top. So it's a lot of comments that you, they see um, people are giving you. And they feel like, oh, y'all doing too much. <laughs> y'all doing too much. It ain't she or he ain't all that. They see that you have some type of crush. We got orbiting. And like I said, they're like, how? He or she is basic. Yep, trash. Look at this. They're looking at you like, oh, this, that's trash. They ain't all that. They don't look better than me. They feel like you should be down because maybe you were getting breadcrumbed in the situation. And I'm getting some online dating. There's been some online dating. Tell me more about ghosted. Point of view and receipts. Somebody got some receipts. Okay. This person got some receipts on you. And they're trying to match the receipts to what they see um, on your social media. This person is watching the hell out of you. Them and their friends is trolling your page, your social media sites. Um, your YouTube, your Snapchat, and I'm getting big copycat energy. Really, really big copycat energy. Like I'm getting copycat. 
mimicking, compare and contrast. What they got that I ain't got, that type of energy. And then they get on the phone and gossip with their friends. All right, tell me more about this person. What does the collective need to know? What's coming towards the collective? The Emperor. King of Wands. We got the sun here. Okay, you could be dealing with a Leo. There could be a Leo in the situation. Um, or you're just feeling good, okay? Since the chapter closed, there's a relationship here. Somebody is spying, okay? Somebody, um, the truth, somebody wants to speak their truth, but they aren't prepared. They aren't ready to speak it just yet. That's why I said somebody has some receipts. This could be an issue with a male. We got the emperor and the king of wands here. This person could be very attractive. This person is domineering. This person is, you know, could be popular. Nine of wands and the nine of cups. Somebody wants somebody's man. That's what it looks like. Or a female. I'm getting a lot of judging going on. Then we got that seven of swords. There's some lying, some sneak, some sneaky business going on. Spirit is giving you a warning. Why is the nine of wands here? Strength card. You could be dealing with a Leo. Or this is a Leo who is watching you. Okay. We got strength and the nine of wands. Okay. Look at how this looks. This person is definitely keeping an eye on you. And could be in regards to a male that they want, okay? Yep. This person is definitely watching you, okay? For sure. This person is watching to see if you're happy. They're trying to figure out why you're so happy. Why is the nine of cups here? Page of swords, I told you. Yeah, this person, someone was going back and forth. There could have been a third party involved and somebody walked away. Okay, somebody walked away. Um, you could have walked away or this person could have walked away from you. There's a lot of back and forth going on, okay? This person is trying to figure out why are you so happy? This person could have feel like they won this male. This person could have been a Capricorn here with the devil card here. Why is the devil here? Five of Cups. Yeah, this person could be over here regretting that some type of truth came out about the past. Tell me more about this Ace of Swords. Ace of Cups. Somebody over here feels, you know, doesn't feel too confident about this situation. Somebody gave somebody a choice. Somebody gave somebody a choice to get to cut somebody off. I'm seeing that as well, too. Now we got judgment here. So a final decision is looks like it's going to be made. And the decision is to end. Um, possibly there's a marriage here that is ending. That's going through a possible divorce or separation. There's a final decision being made here. Yep, that is over. The world card is here. And there's someone, there's a new situation. There's a new beginning, okay? Somebody here is deciding to put their past on hold. And there's a connection here. Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. This person is trying to make sure that you and this person... Uh, stays disconnected from each other. So this is why this person is watching you. Um, this person is afraid. Why is the Eight of Swords here? 
This person is afraid to contact you or tell you how they really feel. But this person is really in competition with you. This person is competing. This person is competing. Competing with you. There was somebody had a decision to a quick decision. Like somebody had to make a really, really quick decision here. To cut someone off. Someone kept changing their mind about whether or not who to cut off. But this was really hard to do. Okay. This wasn't easy for this person to make this decision. Um, could be a king of pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn with this king of pentacles here. But someone definitely. Like this person wants your past person to move on from you. The outcome is the Seven of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so there is possibly, there is possibly, tell me more about the Queen of Pentacles. The Knight of Wands. Someone here is doing some sneaking around. So they're not being honest with this new person either, I don't feel like, or someone's being sneaky for sure. There's a lot of back and forth going on here. And somebody's disappointed because someone um, rekindles or gets back together. This person here is saying that they thought that your person told you that they were together, okay? So somebody, this person walked away from you, I feel like. There's a lot of drama, and this person is definitely in competition with you. Like, they're watching every move that you make, everything that you say, everything that you do. They're looking at your point of view, how you how you look at things. You know, people on Facebook, they uh, tend to express their point of views on a lot of things. They're, they're just scoping you out, like mimicking, um, talking to their friends about you and trying to get the tea on how you move, how you think, how you wear your hair, what type of makeup are you wearing, like to compare and contrast. Okay, that's kind of weird, but definitely you guys got a stalker. <laughs> all right, so that's going to be the message that I have for you guys. All right, until next time, ciao for now.